Welcome everybody, Farm Sim Snowy here. In this video, we're going to look at a new mod map release for Farming Simulator 19. So this is a Talia demo version by Edo Mod or Edo Mod, Spaffo Farming and SMI Modding Team. As you can see, top right is a whopping 850.12 megabytes to download, which is quite hefty because it's not a huge map, but it is pretty stunning. There's some lovely, lovely detail on here. There's some really nice features, which we obviously we're going to go over. Now, this is the description in the mod hub. I'm not going to read it all, but it's there if you want to pause it. I'll just read um, a little bit here and there. So the first bit, I am extremely proud to welcome you to Italy, invite you to a new gaming experience on the map Italia demo version. One of the special features of this map is that all the buildings, streets, walls and fences, tracks and even the train locomotive are original and designed by me from scratch. Very cool. So you can see the rest of it there for yourself. And then just a couple of little bits at the end. The proper function of the stables, the silos and the gates present in the farms and equipped areas is linked to the purchase of the fields containing these facilities. So in other words, if you want to use any of those areas or features in those areas, you have to own it, which again we'll look at. Other features, season ready, 48 fields, dynamic background. So without further ado let's go and take a look and here we are this is where you start on all three modes at the train station it's pretty cool because when the train gets near you get um announcements over the tannoy obviously in italian which is quite impressive i'm on new farmer mode and this is the map as you can see it's not a huge map which I did mention earlier and we've got a sort of chart or key whatever you want to call it telling you where various areas are because you've got lettered places A, B, H there, G and you've also got some numbered areas 1, 2 and 3 so in new farmer mode we start off over here this is farm number 3 which is Azura and we start off with the farmyard area it's got a silo in there and a chicken pen and we start off with field number one. To buy this in the other two modes it's 269,000. Field prices vary, they're not too bad though. So field two is 199, some of them come in blocks of two like that. 365, 27, 28, 216, there's some small ones on their own. 34 is only 30,000. 40 and 39 is 115,000. There's a couple of forestry areas at the top 214, 370, 90,000. There's some farm areas like this, which we will go into more detail later. That's 40,000 to buy. Number one is Italia, which is Italia farm. Again, we'll go into more detail in this later. That to buy is only 70,000 to buy, but that is a complete blank area. There's no buildings there or anything, and it doesn't look very flat in places. So how well you'll be able to put places, placeables down, I do not know. Number two is the other farm, which was Parma. That's 401,000 to buy. And then, like it says, you've got all these lettered areas, D, which is horses. You have to buy all these areas to use them. Some of them have got gates leading into them, and you can't even open the gates if you don't own it. As soon as you own that land, the gates will open. And if, say, for instance, we bought this area now, it would appear with the horse symbol there and we can use that pen whereas you if you try and go up to the animal dialogue box without owning it nothing will happen which again we'll look at in a second we've got a bga down here 
in fact there's two really one you can access by train so the bga italia you can access by um, the train but you can only from what i can see if we go into here so bga italia at the top you can only tip in silage like so and then the biogas italia is your normal standard um, biogas plant which is 184,320 to buy that takes your standard sort of um, items so your silage grass hay slurry and manure there is some grass areas that we can buy 155,000 for that 90 for that some of these are quite big areas 41 like so you can't buy the outside of the map but you don't need to so there you go i've gone over pretty much of the basics again f tiny little area but we'll go over these as we come across them but they're all up there as you can see it has got every animal standard animal pen on here but there is a couple of issues that I've come across because I think where this is the demo version there is a few things missing and some things that you can't seem to use or I couldn't seem to use maybe it's me doing something wrong but I'm not quite sure but we'll go across them all at the minute and I'm going to do this in two sort of different parts so what I'm going to do is I'll show you this sort of area here because we can get most of this on the foot then I'll cut to the train I might add in a little bit of money as well so we can buy some of these areas just to show you the things that do work and whatnot. We'll go round on the train because you can get a lot of this by train we can access and then we'll do a little bit from the road starting from our farm. But we'll go through everything in more detail. So like I say we start off here at the um, train station. What I'll do now actually before I get carried away is let's have a look at our equipment and slot counts. So new farmer mode, you start off with 711 slots out of 1299, which isn't too bad, but then you don't really start off with a lot of equipment and not very good equipment, forgive me for saying that. So we start off with the Fiat 1300 DT you got the new Holland TX32, we've got a Mana 2 forklift which is actually at the shop. We've got a Forschritt HW80 trailer, header for our harvester. We've got a small plough there, we've got a cultivator or paro harrow. We've got a cedar, we've got a planter, a sprayer and a header for the trailer. That is it, that is all you start off with. If you sell all that off you can get that down to 607 slots now in the other two modes farm manager and start from scratch if you come on here you start off with absolutely nothing no equipment um, no land and the slot count is 595 so I thought I'd point that out while we can so we've got a little road across in here across the tracks although it seems to end there so we've got to run across this one I've left the help menu on just so you can see some of the triggers so just over here because obviously there's no hatched area if we come up to there look open animal dialog box and there you go that is our animal dealer just there it's obviously only coming up for chickens because that's the only pen on the map at the minute just here is your root crop store um, sale point sorry not storage so it's your potato sugar beet and sugar cane and that one is scallow mercy BP and then just round the back here I won't go into too much detail on the sale points we've got your first of your main sale point there's three of them on the map um, they just take your standard crops nothing else just there and we've got a fuel point just there like so if we run back across to the train station i love the sort of graffiti there and when you get on the train there's a bit of graffiti on the train just here we've got that 
it says left click to hide all markers obviously left clicks a mouse we're not on a mouse we're on playstation but you can see up the top there the circle or i've got my side panel attached we can hide markers because you see the two yellow ones there and there we've got the option click on that that gets rid of all them now there is quite a lot even the animal dialogue boxes for the pens they've all got those marker zones on but i'll turn them back on so it makes it easier for us so this is your egg cell point just there i'm presuming just pull up and it will be triggered there and then we've got our spinnery which is just here it says sell your wool but obviously you can do cotton as well so that is all that area there what i'm going to do is cut to the train i'll get the train back up here at the train station and we'll go around the map like that and i'll probably add in a little bit of money as well as we go so i'll see you in a second right so we're back at the train station we've got the train in look at the graffiti on there i love it and as you can hear we've got our announcements because the train is in a couple of things i didn't mention just a second ago there is no custom crops on here there's no modded in items and also if you're in new farmer mode if we go into this area as you can see most of your equipment is in desperate need of repair or very low so just one thing to point out now we're going to jump in the train like i said as you can see the train's got six carriages three sort of grain bin storage and then I think there's three um, logging carriages coaches whatever you want to call them and we're just going to stop just up here because we're going to jump out do that very well did I and we're going to run up into this area which is I think was B wasn't it area B so we're up here area B so for instance this gate look we don't own it help menus on can't even open it if we buy that area now which includes a bit of forestry area like so now we walk up to the gate open bar we can now open the gate and come in we've got a little bit of a warehouse storage area and obviously this forestry area at the backs all ours which is pretty good that stands for unloading zone or unloading area so you can unload your logs now on the menu here so area B, it says warehouse, stationary chipper and crane. Now I presume this is the crane and it runs along there. So you can unload from, I guess, the road here and even the train. And it's also on sort of rails there that shoot out so you can move it. I couldn't get that crane to work at all. Maybe I was doing something wrong, but basically you can come up here by the look of it tip your logs in there because that's the wood chipper just over there and if we run over to i'm not doing this the best way i know so again there's one of the signs if you tap the marker back at the train station that would disappear but if we go towards the hut it says enter vehicle so now we're in here and we can select different sort of cameras but this as far as i can tell is just for the wood crusher because that's all i could get up so if we do our one and actually we need to start the engine r1 and square to start the engine like any sort of vehicle so you can just see the sort of smoke puffing out unfold the wood crusher turn on the wood crusher as you can see it all starts spinning all well and good pipe out i couldn't actually see any difference that that made if we select the camera just to the right there you can see that pipe sticking down hanging down so you could wood chip 
all your logs and load them onto the train which is pretty cool but as for the actual crane I've no idea how to use that I've tried and tried my best I've come all around here I couldn't get any triggers so just to let you know but like I say if it's just a demo version maybe some things aren't available so I thought I'd just check that out show you rather obviously there you've got the stationary chipper which is what we can use but the crane not so sure about so we'll jump back into the train I'm going to cheat and just tab to it because it's easier and we'll carry on round but as you can see it's very picturesque pretty beautiful little map very nice just coming up here you see the two pipes sticking out the trains not going to stop in time now can you see there on the help menu we've got the start filling trigger like so because if we jump out of there now and we run up these steps now this is the way I thought it would be best to do so forgive me if it's a bit sketchy we are now here at IFE which is another sale point there which is a main sale point as you can see just takes those standard crops this is your sale point this one here but this one is a silo because you got the sort of picture of the train there so you can tip in and then obviously get out of those two pipes there into the truck or the train sorry now I'm guessing that is silos other so that's got a capacity of 200,000 litres and it would just take your standard sort of in ones and it will also do sugar cane and silage by the look of it which is pretty good so that is that area again let's tab to the train and cheat a little bit just makes this a bit quicker for us and then we'll move on, actually, we won't. Because here we've got the sheep pen. As you can see again, we've got the sort of marker zone, which you can turn off, unload or buy. Got no trigger there, can't open this gate. If we buy that now, come up, we've got the dialog box, and we can open this gate as well. It did open for me earlier. All right, anyway, <laughs> there we go. There's the dialogue box. This will hold 250 sheep. It's pretty easy with the triggers. You've got your feed trough there. You've got your water trough there. Sheep will appear all outside, which is pretty good. And I'm guessing your wall is gonna spawn on these pallets. That is where I'd put my money on. Right, so we'll carry on round. So we're just, the, our farm, starting farm, is just sort of to the left there, but we'll come back to that a bit later. And then our field number one is just to our left there, which is like it's all ready to go. And then we need to start slowing down because just on the right we've got the horse pasture pen. I decided I don't really need to actually buy everything. I'm going to jump out of there. So this is the horse pasture just there. Very nice and pretty isn't it with the red flowers. I do love the fence either side the white one and the brown one just looks smart and it's all sort of leaning a bit there's no um straightness to it i like that again you've got this marker there but we don't own it so we can't click on it but this will hold 16 horses you can open that gate but obviously we don't own it just inside we've got our feed trough there and we've got our water trough just there so we'll jump back in the train and off we go again 
and then just down there in front of us is going to be our sawmill I just I love all these little trees look they I mean when I first come on I thought they don't look right but that is the style of that tree something different so if we just stop about here turn that off again look you've got your marker there sell your logs so you've got your trigger just there for the railway railway one and if we run through here just there it's your unloading point and again you can see sell your wood chips here just like so and then round the back for the road side of it you tip your logs in there look and you've got your um trigger point just there to sell your wood pretty cool and all the little smoke coming out the chimneys I think it just looks quality very very nice touches in this and even though it's not a big map you can see why it's such a big download amount because it is just very very pretty without sounding too soft so we're just coming up to the BGA this has got some nice features I love all the little tunnels and bridges so we need to stop 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 I'll reverse back a little bit there because this train's a nightmare to stop sometimes so you've got your sell point there for your silage for the train as you can see now if we run down here we're probably holding the traffic up here yeah, you'll have to wait for us people we now come into the bga area sort of by road now you can tip in you've got two bunker silos there that you can tip into there is actually three but only two of them to tip into as you can see help menus on there's two of those and then there's a drive through big one there there is two slurry pits here and this there whether that works I'm not sure I haven't tested it so this is your sale point for your normal BGA so you'll tip in there I'm assuming you'll be able to tip in there and you've got the um, display up there and there's another slurry pit there maybe that's the digestate because I couldn't actually see a digestate pipe come out got a little bit of storage there and then round the back this is pretty handy to have see a little bridge there look lovely oh my goodness pay attention just over the back here we've got three buy points so we've got this one there for seed you've got solid fertilizer and you've got lime obviously all by road this is this not by train and then if we come round we'll go back sort of the roadway so I'm not confusing you too much because we've got our forage sale point which is going to be for your bells or your loose silage which is just here as you can see so probably worth leaving these markers on until you get used to where everything is so sell your bells just there so obviously we came all the way down here through the sawmill your forage sell points there vendita biogas the one tipping we've shown you bga italia is the one by the train so we'll jump back in the train and we'll scoot off again I know this probably seems a bit jumbled up and I'm rambling on a bit but it really did fry my brain a little bit but look at these little bits here look at the detail coming in through there through the archway it is very nice as you can see very colorful as well Yeah, I was just trying to work out the best way to do it and I figured that because we can do a lot of it and most of it by railway, I thought I'd do that. So just coming up here, we've got 
another pipe sticking out so we should get our start filling symbol there you go if I jump out of there again apologies for the um bad camera angle so there's your pipe obviously just there and again this is another area you need to own for it to work so you can tip in um, tip in items there and take them out of this um, pipe at the back there is a bunker silo as you can see just there and there is a gate over the back there which again won't open unless you own it but yeah that's quite cool so that was I, I'm sure that said somewhere up here I've probably just made that up but I was sure it was up here somewhere maybe it wasn't there you go anyway I'll tell you what I know what I did if we jump in the train if we click on start filling that's where I got it from it's only silage for there obviously because you've got the silage bunker so you can produce silage there and then put it on the train and go and sell it and it says 200,000 litre capacity there but obviously you need to own that to use it I knew I got silage from somewhere it really has tested me this map so <laughs> I do apologise I hope some of you are still watching and haven't turned off so we'll carry on round you can see there's traffic on there as well I can't zoom out any more than that on the map so uh, on the train sorry so then we've got another sail point here you got the cell point just there for the railway line I won't jump out here and the one for the road is just under the archway there that is IFO not UFO which is your last cell point main cell point now we're just coming up to what should be the cow shed and this is what I mean about things being missing maybe because it is the demo version I'm not sure it will stop there so as you can see on the map G which is this area here which you can buy for 24,000 Stala Avel cow shed but there's nothing here Look, it looks like something was here or should be there and if you come up here you get kind of see these little I don't know what they are little bolts or something like that something's missing from there obviously it looks quite flat here and flat down there yeah look look at all this whether it's missing because like I say it's just a demo or something needs to be updated i don't know we've got a floating tree just there but i would guess your cows would appear here maybe i'm not sure unless they're it's an indoor pen i'm not sure so i've no idea how many the cows would hold or meant to hold because there's nothing here so we'll go back over to the train so that's one thing i spotted there is contracts available on here as well if I haven't mentioned that already so we're kind of just heading back up towards the top of the map where we started there's two more areas I'd like to show you a lovely little bridge coming up there look if we stop just about here to do me just here is your milk sale point as you can see sell your milk here and then over here we have got zone a again you need to own this what I will do 
so that was your milk cell point lateria blah 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 if we do buy zone a because it's only 4800 you see a farmhouse appear there now even though we've already got a farmhouse down here we still can get a farmhouse there because there's another farmhouse here here and i think that's it because there's nothing over here so you've got the potential to have four farmhouses so you've got a water point there as it tells you this gate will now open as before it would not we've got another silo just here storage just your standard things and we can open that up now that won't even open if you don't own it so now if we come into here our silo capacity is increased to 100 uh, 1 million litres sorry so I think most of the silos are 500,000 litre capacities and we've got some crops in that one by the look of it and if we come over to the chair area just there look we've got a sleep trigger <laughs> just like that so that is that part of the map now what I'm going to do is to make life easier I'm going to lease a pickup I'll get it back to our farm and then we're going to because that's going to be the easiest route from our farm out and round and we'll finish up here somewhere so bear with me a sec while I go and get a pickup and get that all sorted out so this is the entrance to our farm that we start off with a new farm mode Azura as you can see I've got the pickup ready to go got some of our equipment there as you can see it's all nice and dirty it's going to need repairing just by the steps there you've got our sleep trigger to our little house love the smoke coming up out there looks quality we've got a few big bags lying around so we've got some solid fertilizer there some seed there this is your silo as you can see storage so you tip in there like so if we run down the back that's where you will get your crops out that's your pipe out you've got a water point there as you can see some of the equipment tucked away in there some IBC's there that are ours to use header for your um, harvester and a trailer and then just over here we've got our chicken pen so you open that up we can use this obviously because we own this one this will hold 500 chickens gate does open they obviously will roam around in here I love the little chicken coops where they can go up and go into their little houses I'm guessing the eggs are going to spawn on there on the pallets like the sheep and I'm pretty sure the feed trough there's our trailer just there as well is going to be down the end here that looks like the feed trough to me I haven't tested it but I'm pretty sure that's what is the case so we're jumping the pickup and we're going to sort of head south down the map down this road and visit this fuel station gas station you see a little bit of the map now from the road but our field there is pretty big it's not small nice bridge zoom out a little bit more so you can see I must concentrate though I, when I go too fast in this pickup I tend to um, go out of control a bit <laughs> we've got a roundabout here coming up so we better go around there properly So we're just coming down to the gas station, which has got a one way in, one way out system. So a fuel point just there, and there is also a workshop trigger just there, which you can see, which is pretty handy. That will come in handy. And we'll carry on all the way down here and just see the BGA in the distance. Just kind of go past there. get round in without causing an accident sorry pal and we do 
a bit of naughty overtaking. And then to the left we've got our shop which we will cut across here. We're going around the wrong way, round the roundabout. We drive in round the back to get to the shop. Like so. So you've got your vehicle workshop trigger there. There's the forklift and obviously if whatever you put in there there you go, you can work on, there's your shop menu, like so, shop is completely empty and bare which is a bit of a shame, I thought I could have add, added something there, I'm going to see if I can quickly bump down there, because now, obviously we came all the way through there, now we want to take this sort of road up, we'll visit F, and then we'll go across and we'll visit farm number one not that there's anything to see there but we will go there because I want to show you everything that I can I really like this bit this drive up you go over the bridge where the train goes under in fact I think it was this one where the train goes under wasn't it and that is very very nice looking map I'm pretty sure I seem to remember when this sort of first came about this map or Italia and I thought that there was I could be wrong but I thought that there was three two or three versions there was the demo which obviously I think this is there's a light one and then I think there was the full one but I don't think all of them will be available for console because I think they're just too too much for the console which is a shame because if this is just going to be the only one we get then that's a bit of um, a bit of a shame really we'll leave the pick up there so this is zone f or area f whatever you want to call it again you need to own this so you tip in there for your silo and your pipe out that would open again like it did i showed you earlier and then we've got storage there for solid fertilizer and seed and that's obviously your tanks to get out now when you do buy this you do get another workshop trigger appear just there so that's quite handy to know but that is zone f which I don't think is very expensive to buy 52,000 so we'll scoot on up and we'll visit farm one which is Italia which is nothing there so I'm guessing in maybe some of the other versions there will be something here I don't know so as you can see look absolutely nothing I mean a fair bit of it looks flat so if you did want to buy it but like this bit there look it just ramps up a bit I don't think you're going to get much in on there so just something to be aware of so now if we come out of there we'll come across here this area down there is really nice actually you'll see it definitely reminds me of something out of the Godfather or something I don't know why as soon as I drove down here earlier, I just instantly got hit with that feeling about the Godfather or something like that. Just coming through these trees and then it just opens up. Very nice view. So, if we carry on this way. Bit of a bump there. I think it's this road here we want or track yeah and this is going to take us to the other farm which I think was Palmer and this is where your pigs are going to be so 
so we'll stop just there so you would have your storage there so it looks like you can store pig feed there and um, it's going to be a silo so again that's why you've got two there so your tip in there will be I'll come back to that zone in a minute this would be your farmhouse and just here is going to be your sleep trigger in fact let's just buy it there you go you can see the pig symbol coming up and the sleep trigger so just there sleep trigger there come around the back you've got a bit of uh, storage space again we get a workshop trigger come up then you can come out around the back and you've got a lovely little seating area here can you imagine sitting on the swinging seat look, looking out over that sipping a coffee very nice anyway let's crack on another little sort of storage area here but what i think is quite cool is you tip in by the look of it your pig food there into this section if we go downstairs it comes down that pipe there look and it fills up these troughs so there's your feed troughs just there dialog box just there this will hold 200 pigs again I haven't tested anything but I'm guessing that's going to be manure because this looks like our slurry point there and our straw point I'm guessing is just there and then your water is going to be just there look, unloading now just across the way just over there where you can see that shed that is zone it's very difficult to see because that fields there that is C which if we go up there that's got a silage trench so obviously a side bunker silo and a shed so you can buy that as well if you wanted to do a little bit of silage like so but we're now going to come out of the pig farm and then we're going to come up and then we're going to visit this area here which I am going to buy now so again we get a farmhouse there but there isn't one there which again is a bit odd I do like this little hedge look that's been cut and shaped now I think I need to take a left here and then just here we've got a um another water refill point and it's I don't know what it is but it looks quite nice it's just a sort of random area so we've come up again you've got lovely views out it just looks like the map goes on forever it's, it is very nice very good what they've done now this is the thing we're coming up towards this last farmhouse but as you can see there is absolutely nothing here and I'm not even sure on any of the other versions how you'd fit anything in there it's a little bit flat I guess just there but if we keep running towards the symbol we will eventually he says get a sleep trigger All right, let's do that and visit there we go so look, we've got the sleep trigger come up, there's nothing here, so like I say, a few things missing I think, probably because it is the demo version, but that I think is it, I think I pretty much covered everything and I'm sorry if it was a bit jumbled up and if you are still watching at this very point I thank you very much for sticking with me, but it did frazzle my brain a little bit with all the numbers and letters and working out which way round to go and what does what and where everything is so if you have enjoyed it please give us a like and if you haven't subscribed yet then please do that would be fantastic if you do and don't forget to hit the notification bell so you don't miss any future videos of mine i've been farm sim snowy stay frosty